Okay, good morning everybody. We're gonna go to the magistrate's court today to see if we can eyeball the alleged child killer. I think his name's Salman Altaf. Magistrate, good morning everybody. And we're gonna go see if we can, uh, I don't know. We can't do anything, but uh, just wanna see this utter scum. Just wanna see him. If we were a thousand years ago, we'd all turn up in the village square to, uh, I guess, lynch the child killer. Uh, as a tribe, as a culture, as a group, as a town, village, you wouldn't, um... oh, emotions are running high, I don't even know what to say. Basically, um, a, uh, a mother, um, she broke up with a man, the man went back with a large knife to murder her, the 15-year-old son, said not today he fought with the crazed murderer he ended up dying his mother got badly injured but the son the 15 year old successfully saved his mother's life and gave his own in the process and so to jacob his name's jacob wherever you are kid you're a massive hero and your name will live on forever and the guy who tried to kill your mum, he failed, thanks to you. Okay, um, just come out of a magistrate's court six, where Salman, Suleiman, sorry, Suleiman Altaf, born 1978, is accused on June the 9th in Miles Platting. He went to the address of his deceased victim, and he's also been charged with attempted murder for the mother of the victim and he's also been charged with possession of a bladed article in a public place so I turned up and there's a lot of interest from the press of course this is not an easy or ordinary thing to sit through when I found out about it as a father of three I had to come and have a look and also there's an element where you want to you want to make the perpetrator feel that everyone's against him. Now, of course, nobody shouted out, nobody lunged at the attacker, even though he deserves to be hurt. We trust in the cold and calculating strength of the British justice system. He's not going to get away with it. And he's a, he's a piece of shit. He's a scummy 40-something-year-old guy who instead of walking away allegedly took it upon himself to turn up at a mother's house with children there and I guess what I want and what the family I've just met the older brother of the deceased and what the older brother said to me he just wants the whole world to know that Jacob died a hero If it wasn't for 15 year old Jacob's actions, his mother would be dead. The scumbag turned up, the murderer, the monster turned up to kill his mum. And because Jacob stopped him, he gave his life to defend his mum. So Jacob, you're a fucking hero and you will live forever as a hero. You will never grow old or have anything bad said or done to you because you are a hero for eternity for saving your mother's life the judge then turned to all the press the judge turned to all the press because uh, and said there's a banning order on um, a few details I hope I don't get into trouble I'm not going to reveal any identities but this monster who was stopped by the heroic 15 year old who gave his life he wasn't the only child there man there were other children there who witnessed this who witnessed what happened to their mum and their brother i don't like to get overly upset but what else like any human being and especially any father or mother knowing about this case it's 
it's a tragedy and like of course my video has no impact on the sentencing but I'm sure my viewers will join me in saying that whilst we don't have the death penalty in this country the one thing we can do for Suleiman Altaf if and when he is found guilty is a whole of life term and we as a society we say that people who murder children there's no space for you anymore so this video is dedicated to the Szymanski family I just want to say thank you to the older brother for speaking to me it's not easy seeing the whole family here crying and um, again um, um, I don't know how to end this there's um, a GoFundMe page that the family have set up sorry friends of the family it was a gentleman called Liam who spoke to me he's given me the link and um, it's genuine because the family were here supporting the GoFundMe page the immediate family of the deceased I will share that below in the description box in the comment section it's money to help out with the family and uh, I urge all my viewers to throw a couple of pounds in a couple of dollars in to support the Szymanski family the surviving family of Jacob the hero this is Charlie Veach outside Manchester Magistrates Court on the 13th of June 2022